show your... Hi everyone, do you recognize who this is? This is Mr. Sunnyside from the Best Ever Review Show with nearly 10 million subscribers here on YouTube. Recently, Mr. Sunny stopped by An Yang, Vietnam to experience a variety of local food here. Let's follow Mr. Sunny and check out his journey. Good, hey folks, this is Sunny from Best Ever Food Review Show. We just finished some shooting here in An Yang. I've tried a bunch of very cool, unique foods. I love coming to the Mekong Delta because every time I'm here, there's something either strange, unique, or interesting. And we had a little bit of all those categories this time. We had some pig eye hot pot, we had eel, we had, what else did we have? We had bugs, soaked in alcohol, lots of cool things, delicious foods, and uh, great stuff to see. So, go ahead and get. First, we have porridge with pig eyes in Long Suing City. This is a hot pot type of porridge with pig eyes. It looks pretty scary, but I can guarantee that it is really delicious. That's correct. Next, we have Ban Tam Se. It is a type of rice cake that is handmade. We usually eat it with shredded pork skin and coconut milk. It is a very popular dish here in Nanyang. Alright, Calvin, right here, this is the Mekong special tea. Then we have Ban Seo, which is a Vietnamese crepe at Ban Seo Temple. Ban Seo Temple gives out free Ban Seo. Each person here usually makes 12 at a time and every day they make around 6,000 to 10,000 crepes on average to give out to tourists and temple visitors. Isn't that wonderful? This is an insect market at the border of Vietnam and Cambodia. Dinh Binh Market has many options to pick from, such as scorpion, lizard, snake, and especially you gotta try the queen termites with rice wine. Then we have Bung Ga with vermicelli with fish on the Long Suing's floating market. The floating market is one of the best features of Ang Yang culture. Waking up at sunrise, having breakfast, and enjoying a cup of Vietnamese coffee on the Long Suing floating market brings us a very interesting and unforgettable feeling. We have Lao Lit Hai Tung at Long Suing. The lit belongs to the Yu family and has been a very popular dish loved by many locals. Now let's follow Mr. Sunny Sai's journey in Anyang, Vietnam. It's a little stretchy, a little elastic -y. Super hot. Kind of silky and soft. I'm gonna try it out. Huh? Oh wow! It actually has some flavor. It's a little bit salty. That could just be my sweat. I'm not sure. It's a little salty. Ah! All right, one, two, three. All right, Calvin. Right here, this is a meat calm specialty. This is a noodle dish that really takes influence from its environment. We have. A People buy black scorpion to soak them in wine. So, so people are buying black scorpion to soak them in rice wine to cure aches and pains in the body. Really? Yes. He can cure stuff. That's what he says. I, yeah. I just noticed it. it's only like cool, badass looking creatures yeah, yeah, yeah. that get put in wine usually. Like, look. Okay, but you feel like you don't have to put them in like. 
says, listen, dummy. She says, listen. All she does is boil it for 20 minutes, and the meat is perfectly soft. And again, you can see it right now. I can, without any pressure, I can lift up that cheek meat with just the itty bitty strength of my thumb. It's fantastic. So, so this has to be a pretty affordable cut, I would think. I mean, it's not like a, a pork chop. It's not belly fat or belly meat. It's part of the head. Yes, but she's found a way to make it interesting. I want to say she's found a way to make it delicious, but all she's doing is cooking it. <laughs> uh, so she found a very affordable ingredient that takes, but yeah. Well, actually, I love that much. Yeah, I love that many. And so this is a very unique texture behind the eyeball. Yeah. 
Oh, she's so shy. Okay. I want to. I want to bring out. Uh, I want to find a way to kind of bring out her personality a little bit more. She's very sweet, very shy. Like that. Game. We're gonna play. We're gonna play a game of show and tell, seafood edition. Behind her, and a very interesting seafood found literally just outside the window here in the in one of the many rivers and streams of the Mekong Delta. Behind her is the conger eel. Conger. That's something we're gonna be trying soon. But first, I just want to get a good look at it. Mm. Bây giờ cô đoán nha, đằng sau lưng cô có bao nhiêu con đực? Đừng nhìn nhé, đừng có nhìn. Đoán. Đúng lúc, đúng lúc. Đằng sau lưng của cô có bao nhiêu con đực? 200 con đực. 200 con đực. Over 200, I think 200 conger eels. I mean, you want to count? There's a load of eels. But, I mean, you don't... Of course you don't believe her, right? She's a council. Yeah, She's I a banker. I think if anyone knows, if anyone's going to count their eels accurately, it's this woman right here. Mm -hmm. On an abacus, maybe. Digital abacus? Uh, when you get them, you sometimes you can crawl into them. Khi mà cô nhập về đây, cô có bao giờ phải đào cái hồ đó hơn? Đó hả? She will study. Okay, go back. Okay, Jay Oh, I think she's done this many times before, so she probably made into a little freshwater pool here with all the eels. Mm. She's like waiting for all the eels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, true. I mean, she's gonna, she's gonna be the eel cathedral on the Mekong Delta. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is one ugly looking ever ever. It looks 